Hello guys, this is Nasrat Visual. Welcome back again to our channel. Uh, in today's video, uh, the topic is all about uh, automated schedules in iCAD. So I'll be introducing guys to automated schedules, uh, which is a response to a comment in uh, the previous videos that we've been posting. Uh, so we decided to record a video in response instead of just answering a question. So basically it's an overview of iCAD scheduling, like scheduling in iCAD, and how to prepare your model for reports and, you know, extraction schedules, information from your model. So this video also shows how to, how to use the information in conjunction with uh, the Excel to create and build, you know, a report. So we would show you how to create uh, this report. I'll go deep in how to create a new schedule and how to customize them and show you how uh, the workflow. So it's just a, a quick uh, crash course, I would say, on the schedules. So basically, still emphasizing on the beam concept, I hear beams concept, which is all about uh, information extraction. If you're not familiar about Beam, Beam is about information management and information workflow. So let's get into it. This is a, a standard ACCAD template, a standard uh, ACCAD, you know, and standard reports, standard reports, standard uh, um, there's a schedule that come with ACCAD default, with a default template. So I'll show you guys um, in the template. This is our template that we already crafted. We already made all these reports. Let's say you want to use our template. It's not uh, a matter of time, but the importance of accuracy and precision. It, it saves times and errors. The reports are already crafted. Like, you, you know, your window schedules, your beam schedules, everything has been already uh, made up, crafted. So this template is a holy grail. It's a must-have. It's a arcade resource. If you want to speed up your workflow and dive deeper into information extraction, cost estimation and scheduling, for technical and you know details, just I'll leave the link in the description below. So yeah, I'll show you guys now the the, the tactics of how you do this. In the previous uh, work experience where I used to work back in the day, uh, the schedules were manual, like it was time consuming and you know, it was taking time because we didn't use the, we didn't know this automated schedule, we used to do this, it was manual, it, it was a wrong workflow for me and it was time consuming. So as time went on, we, we developed and alright. Uh, let's get into it guys. This is just a model that I'll be demonstrating with. It's an exercise model. Uh, it's a, you know, a template where I was using uh, the, our template just to demonstrate the workflow. So I'll, I'll try and extract a few things from this model just to show a demonstration of how to create uh, the schedules and preparing your reports and stuff like that. So this is just, uh, a house, just a residential house project for a client of ours, but I'll just show you how uh, basics about to extract. All right. Um, um, schedules are located here in the navigator menu on the right side. Below, like there's a, you're going to see schedules below the, the navigator menu. And like I said, iCAD comes with uh, predefined schedules, but here our template comes with predefined schedules of any kind of reports, your beam and stuff like that. And for you to create a new schedule, what you do is just right click and then create new and then now you punch in um, the schedule you want to create your IDs, the name of the schedule and the element type let's say what are you scheduling like the types of schedules right? um, the elements list and the component list and the surface list so basically today we are focusing on the element list it's just the characteristics of uh, basic construction elements and then the components uh, so it's different like that and then the surface list it's just about surfaces, exposed surfaces, right? And then you select your element list and then your schedule is right there. And then what you do is uh, you go to scheme settings now. Uh, this, 
your the content of the schedule is based on the such as scheme settings, the criteria of your schedule. That's uh, for you to define your schedule, like you are programming your schedule. This is sort of a coding, I would say, coding your schedule. Um, what what do you want? What do you uh, criteria of your schedule? And then that's what the parameters of your schedule. First, of all, you you know you click the elements that you want to bring up. Um, and then just uh, you you the criteria fields. You know, you can choose which parameters of the chosen you should display in your schedule. Let's say we are focusing on um, the foundation here, footing. We want a classification of footing. Like everything is on, on its layer, uh, on its uh, classification properties. Now you're going to schedule using this classification. So, you know, the main, the main benefits of, the, of using classifications. Uh, there's a video for this uh, uh, tutorial doing this classifications. So elements are on those classifications. Beams are on classification of beams. Ores are on more classifications. Um, roofs, everything is on its classification. So uh, you're going to schedule easy that way. As much as it's, it it's goes well with working with layers. So it's one and the same thing. Like we are scheduling our schedule as to respond to our classifications. And then what do we do in the in the you know in the scheme settings as well? You serve what you want to uh, you know schedule. Like it's the content of the schedule is based on the you know, scheme settings. This is where you adjust this. You can directly access this by clicking the like scheme settings, like I said. And for each schedule, use the scheme settings dialog box, you know, to define the parameters of, of uh, you wish to list, like what you wish to list. And that's what I did. That's what I'm doing. Um, and then. You look for parameters in the left side, like the criteria. You know the contents of your interactive schedule are defined here. This is where you define the content of your schedule. What do you want to schedule? Do you want area? Do you want uh, length? Do you want surfaces? Do you want uh, volume? What do you want? And that's where the content of your schedule are. And yeah. And, I guess you are following suit. This is just, um, you know, uniformites. And then that's and the foot is concrete. Like remember, look at my right hand, my left side of the schedule. You know, that's that's, you know, yeah. And then the, if the report is finished, if my, you know, my list of schedule is finished, that's all the basic. A report that will come out and I'm sure you could share this report with uh, you know external parties you can collaborate with your uh, QS your quantity surveyor your, you know but now we can take our schedule let's just fix it and yeah you can just play around with it you know play the table just clean it up and then this is one element right you can match you can manage, you know, uniform items, and so it just becomes a nice report. And this is how a report of a footing, you know, our footing. This is, and then you, you can, you know, check the. Make sure you do that, and then match, match, and then total cost, the volume cost of our footing and then you can click it on that there and then go see what we are quantifying you know click and then go to and then this is our footing of our project we know the volume we can export this there's a full tutorial of how we export to excel to external parties for you know how we collaborate in our studio is how you know generating reports so let's click another one then let's create another report right click new schedule 
what are we doing now? ID, and, uh, any ID, your workflow, I don't know what you, your workflow at office, just A maybe. And then, um, footing brickwork, no, foundation brickwork. Now we are doing brickwork, foundation brickwork. Since we did the footing, right? Let's do the foundation brickwork. You click and then store in the elements and then OK. And then go to the navigator and go to the schedule that you created. Foundation brickwork. We go to the top right where you going to select. You add your criteria. How what do you want to, um, you know, your, how do you want to distinguish your schedule? What do you want? Um, the contents of your schedule. Classifications, we add the type of, you know, and then all types, you go to your classification property. Uh, footing is in which kind of, what kind of property, you know, and then you go to footing, foundation footing, for, yeah, and then we are, yeah, I think, uh, you know, the, the embedded text elements, like those elements that you embedded in your foot information that you did, you put in the classification. That's the one that's going to be listed here in our schedule. Uh, accurate specifications, accurate information. So this thing is automated, unlike uh, manual work. And then we did our criteria. Now let's add our fields in our schedule. Mind you guys, I'm just showing you a deep dive into how to create the schedules, but uh, our template has already set those things up. All you need to do is put your elements in the right classification and a stack uh, is automated. And uh, um, the template is, uh, is, is, is a holy grail, guys, for you guys for to speed up your workflows and you know, reap the benefits of Rocky Kid. So check it out. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, and then our foot and brickwork is here. So what you do is you craft, you, you, you know, make sure you clean it up. That's how you can you double click that. You double click, double click, just to make it clear and clean. And this is um you know yeah make sure you match this uniform the same uniform things and you click it brick work we have this uh, our result here that's our brick work so we can now imagine you did this to every element your roof your footing your foundation your beams and everything like that. That's how you could collaborate with uh, these guys, the quantity surveyors, and um, you know, this is just a basic uh, arcade, arcade uh, you know, scheduling feature, which I'd recommend you guys to tap into by our template and check it out. All right, there, this was just a. A basic introduction to the interactive schedule tool in ICAD. Uh, you know, and you can go, you can go deeper, guys, and allow ICAD. You know, this interactive tool could allow you to calculate and quantify the contents of your model, and you can really, really go deeper. But I was just showing you now uh, the basics now, introduction to it. I think I'll come up with part two, and and do even more. You know and just show you guys what you could achieve, you know. But this year I was just teaching the basics and, you know, formatting options and, you know, our interactive schedules. I hope this video was helpful, guys. I think uh, I will end it here. Uh, see you in the next video. Stay creative. Continue to push the limits with IKEAD. Check the link in the description for more details of our IKEAD resources. Bye for now.